What's going on guys, it's Jake. In this video, we have a huge news drop over Beyblade Burst Rise and their Hypersphere line. And guess what? No watermarks. Let's just get right into it. These were actually uploaded to an Australian toy website called Toymate, and I'll leave a source uh, in the description down below. And we're going to be looking at four bays, and it's the four main starters for the first wave of Hypersphere. Before we hop into the news, hit that like button down below. Get this video up to a thousand likes. We have insane rise Hypersphere news, and I'll have another Hypersphere video coming out after this. So subscribe to join the Nook. Dang it. Starting off, we have, of course, Sword Valtric. And, uh, okay, there's interesting things to talk about here. It's the first, like, really good, high quality look at the Hypersphere systems. So there's a lot that we can kind of talk about. First, looking at the driver, I don't even know what that is. It doesn't even look like power. The thing is about Turbo and uh, Slingshock is that they at least kind of look like their original drivers, and it doesn't even look anywhere near the same maybe it'll have the same gimmick but it looks super bulky and i don't know i don't really know what to think about it also the tip names are changed for slingshock you'd see like tb01 uh s which means like it's tip balance 01 slingshock now it's th which means tip hypersphere they also seemingly removed the gimmick from the disc, the Blitz disc. It, do, it no longer has those bits of plastic that just kind of pop out. It seems that they took all that out, and it's now just the main triangle-ish part of Blitz, which is pretty disappointing. I don't really see why, unless they're trying to cut weight off. I don't really see why they would do that. And finally, we are moving on to the layer itself. And first of all, I think they did a really good job with the layer. The, the paint looks nice. It looks pretty accurate. Um, okay, I am down with that. Good job. It looks way better than, you know, Wonder Valtric that came out for Turbo. It just looks a little bit more high quality. It also looks like the chip is going to be detachable. Maybe they'll pull a fast one and you won't be able to, but it doesn't really look like it's merged in with the rest of the layer. But, but it looks metal. It looks like metal, but the weight is not metal. And it kind of makes me think that because it's not metal, that the weight is going to be kind of embedded into the layer itself because I don't know I don't really see how they could like you'd have these little plastic weights like what's the what even is the point of that obviously they're trying to make this kind of like slingshock 2.0 sort of but they're I don't, I don't really know how it's different from slingshock I, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be more extreme and that's why even the drivers have changed even more than they changed for slingshock next up we have bushin ashindra ashindra dude oh my goodness dude I, I get changing dead to dread that makes sense but why from ashura to ashindra that really makes no sense to me but this is a recolor version because there is a gt set that is going to come with the regular colorings of bushin ashindra and ace dragon so this is a red recolor and I like the way that this looks. Yeah, I don't really like it as much in comparison to like the real normal color scheme for it because it just kind of seems just a lot of red. The Keep driver, just like Sword Valtrix power driver, doesn't even look like Keep. It's just this bulky red thing and it kind of has the same like... Uh, no, it's, I, I'm trying to like make it seem similar in my head, but they're very, very different. It's very bulky and maybe there are some similarities to it, but for the most part, it's completely changed they removed the free spinning part of hurricane which does kind of suck and it just kind of seems like i don't really get it i don't really get why like if they're removing metal from the layer weight and they're also changing up the drivers i guess it's they did this to either save money or they did it to make the bays lighter but hurricane is pretty different it's just without the extra part which is sad but for the layer itself, like I said before, it does look pretty different. Um, there are some issues with it. Like I, I just, like I said earlier, it just seems kind of bland because you only have two colors. And whenever Hasbro makes bays that are more basic in colors, the colors are kind of more ugly looking in my opinion. But I would rather get a red than like a purple. Actually, a purple would be 
pretty lit. I'd rather get a red than like a green or something. Oh my gosh, it's a green ace dragon. <laughs> we, uh, huh. Ugh. This one is my least favorite recolor that I've seen from Hypersphere so far. I don't really know why they would go with a green. I, like, like I said before, you can get the real, the normal recolor, the normal coloring in the set. But if you don't want to get the set and spend that extra money, then you're going to have to get a green ace dragon and it's like a lime green it's not even like a good looking like dark hulk green the charge driver actually looks more similar to the regular charge driver except it does not have the metal of course and but i think the only reason why it looks similar was because charge was a really bulky driver anyways so that bulk kind of carries over but we're losing the metal and the tip looks to be a little bit different the sting disc that, uh, you know, of course, they removed it. So all these discs are just seemingly more similar because if you remove their gimmick, then how are they all unique? I, I, may, I hope that they're still sort of heavy because I'm thinking about it. If they remove those parts, wouldn't like double O be heavier? It's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, what's the point of like the, the weight difference is only like a couple of grams max. Ugh. I need my allergies to stop, but moving on to the final bay that we are talking about, we have Wizard Fafnir F5. Now, I'm kind of mixed about this bay because the, the layer, I think, looks the best out of all of the starters for Beyblade Burst Rise, but everything else was changed so, so much that I really don't think it's going to be the same bay or anywhere near the same as the Takara Tomy one. Um, starting with the driver, what even is that? Why is there so much bulk there? Like, it's like power. It was n not really the most thin driver, but you know, they're adding a bit of bulk. Maybe it'll have the same gimmick, whatever. Charge is pretty similar. Uh, keep, that was a big change, but I freaking hate keep anyway, so I don't really care. But like, this one's not even close, man. It's not even close. I'm not really saying that the that the gimmicks are completely removed for the drivers. I'm pretty sure that power will still have the regular power mode and then it'll have the hypersphere mode. And I feel like they're it's gonna be the same thing for Rise. It's still gonna have that kind of flat, like disc sort of thing, and then it can go into hypersphere mode. The disc ratchets, it's it's honestly kind of funny at this point. Like if you remove like little tabs that pop out, if you remove little things here and there, you know, that's that sucks, but okay. But the ratchet, like that sort of free spinning part of the ratchet disc was like the main bulk of the disc. And when you remove that, it's nowhere near the same thing. And the disc wasn't even really that heavy to begin with, so if you remove that giant plastic piece, you're left with a disc that's like similar in weight to like dual layer bays, honestly. Like, it's really not that much here, so... Uh, once again, like I feel like they could have maybe downsized it, maybe made it a bit smaller, but to remove that part completely, once again, it's pretty disappointing. So guys, in summary, what do I think? I th I'm honestly a little bit more hyped for Hypersphere than I was for Turbo. And the reason why is because maybe it's because Turbo lowered my expectations a little bit, but the bays look better here. I think they're colored better. They look a little bit more high quality. And also I really like GT was, it is my favorite season of Beyblade ever. I really love the way that the bays look and the way that they battle and how you can customize them. So I'm really hyped to see what Hasbro does. We still don't really know if you're going to be able to be or if you're going to be able to separate the chips away from the layers or if we're even going to be able to separate the layer weights from the layers even though they're plastic. If we still have that customization, I'm okay with having kind of goofed up drivers because you can always use different drivers, I guess. But worst case scenario, with if, if all the parts are sandwiched together, you're not able to mix and match anything, they removed the gimmicks from the discs, and they just made the drivers really weird, that'd be the worst case scenario, and I don't know, I, I feel like it's still, I feel like it'd still be better than Turbo to be honest. But of course, I'm interested to see what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll have another Rise Hypersphere video coming out after this one, so stay tuned for that, and subscribe to join the Nook Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, and bay away.